All right, here we go. We are talking about painting our Bob's reliefs. And this is the first day of painting, so I wanna go over some basic things. Here's what you need to have. You need to have your paint containers, of your paints, obviously. You need to have paint brushes, obviously. You need to have your plate. If it's dirty, please clean it. If you don't have one, please see me. You need to have your water to dilute the paint. And what I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna show you this, uh, there's an unfinished one. I'll show you what the finished one looks like. It should have paint over the entire thing. Now this is not like painting a piece of paper because there's not only the front surfaces, but there's little edges all around in the sides and the top and the bottom. So you wanna be sure and have paint on all sides. And the way I start this, this is the way I suggest everybody do this, is pick your most dominant color that you wanna have and put one coat over the entire thing, even the edges. And you'll probably use like a big paintbrush to do this with. And the most dominant color I think I wanna have here will be a, like a, a, a light yellow green. I think will be good. So I'm gonna add some yellow. Actually, I probably need more like that. When I mix paints, I wanna not just pour them right on top of each other, but next to each other, kind of get the uh, control what colors I wanna get. If I, if I dump it right on top, then I can't really control it. And because the yellow is more powerful, uh, I mean the green's more powerful, I'm gonna bring green, green into yellow until I'm happy with that results. Maybe move it off to this side as I go. And then I wanna add lots of water to this to make it a real watery paint here. The whole point of this watery paint is it's not gonna be as much a paint as much of a stain. You're gonna stain the surface. And here's the amazing thing. Unlike painting a piece of paper, Painting this really, really dry slab that's been sitting in a hot kiln for 20 some hours, it's going to be really, really um, absorbent. It's going to soak in this paint so quickly, the first coat's going to dry before you know it. And here's the ironic thing, the more water I add into this, the, the um, the quicker it dries, because the water will be absorbed and the paint will just uh, kind of sit on the surface. So here we go. So here's what I want to do. I not only want to paint the entire thing, and, and you can, you can kind of see through it, and this is just my first coat, so this isn't how it's going to work in the end. And I can even add a little bit of water to kind of help move it around. But the whole point of this is you're going to have probably um, high areas and low areas, and adding this paint over the entire thing is going to um, get it down inside those little cracks and those crevices, those small areas that you carve down into. And it's going to get it on the edges. And, um, it, and it's, because it's watery, it flows down there. So I'm going to, um, I'm not going to demonstrate the entire thing, but I want to just make sure I'm getting at least part of the middle surface here. I'm going to paint the entire thing. And then I'm gonna kind of just pick it up here on the edge here to paint the edges, make sure I get the edges all the way around. This is required. The entire surface, everything that's been, um, all surfaces must be covered with paint, even if it's a light color, even if it's a pink that's the same color as the clay. I want you to paint the entire thing. And when I do that, I wanna turn my, my angles to make sure I can get it in those areas. And. Uh, you're not gonna watch me paint this whole thing because I don't wanna take the whole period doing this, but you get the idea, right? The more water I add to it, the better it flows. Keep it on your newspaper. And then this is gonna dry in like five minutes. It's gonna be really quick to dry. And then I can do whatever I want. I can paint right on top of this. You can see these edges here, okay? So when you're done with this at cleanup time, you wanna be sure and put it on your shelf but make sure your bottom shelf has newspaper on it. I guess I am gonna get the whole thing done here in this quick little demonstration. This shows you just how quick it is. And again, this will dry. You can see it's already starting to dry. And when it's completely dried uh, in, in about five minutes, then you can put another color on top of it. Colors, uh, painting is different than drawing. Um, painting covers opaquely if you use the paint thickly. And it, and it covers um, translucently if you use it with lots of water like we did here. So there's lots of fun things you can do with paint. Please call me over if you have any questions and uh, have fun.